This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Welcome to MDG Media's coverage of the Yarva Open 2023, seventh stop on the European Pro Tour. We have round two front nine action from the MPO lead card. Andrew Gum and Tommy Tico back at it again and ready for some really exciting action. We got Henrik Hogman, the local Swede. 100% C1X putting, 89% fairway hits, 994 rated from Helsingborg, Sweden. Sponsored by Prodigy Disc and wearing that cool flying plate company hat. And why new guy? Well, he's not the new guy, but Luke Humphreys. We have seen him in the US and now he's playing in Europe, Kansas. Well, guys, you already know who's the guy. Who is the, he's the skin guy. <laughs> he's GK Pro Skins Master, sponsored by Prodigy, Tree Love, and all that. We got Kevin Jones. Greenwood, Arkansas, 1029 rated player, sponsored by Prodigy, 100% C1X putting so far, and the Grenades, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and my guy Rasmus Duomen, and also sponsored by Prodigy from Espo, Finland. Man, he got, he got like, not the best maybe season, but he have been playing really nice, and now he can like show the skills for us. Yeah, he's been in the mix a few times. Uh, we, we have seen him a couple times on coverage, and yeah, he's got all the skills. He's looking to put it together for a whole competition. He could be on top. Also wearing that uh, flying plate company hat and looking great out there. Hole one, par three, 121 meters. OB aligning the left side and behind. Sloping hillside right to left. Pretty well guarded pin with all these trees that you're seeing up on the green here low ceiling entrance and quite a few obstructions and today the wind was like 10 times bigger than yesterday <laughs> or heavier because it was like headwind straight headwind on the uh, whole one so it, i don't know man it takes like 140 <laughs> meters maybe to get to the pin that's like crazy distance it was so, like so birdie like so bonus birdie yeah, you can Hogman. see the trees swirling. Definitely a windier day. Sunny and pretty warm, but definitely have to account for that wind. This hole averaging 3.2 today. So sixth most difficult. Yeah, much, much harder with the wind. Only 9% of the field getting the birdie. This is a pretty good move on the backhand, but it hits that ceiling there at the end and knocked down that three is about 20 meters from the basket so he got some c2 look missing his dog at home also playing in on minus eight luke humphreys this is not a roller wind huh yeah getting the shout out for hogan the disc golf dog most famous pet on tour It was mentioned about the not roller wind, so he went air shot and unfortunate. Went late OB. Ah. Fortunately, red flag there from the spotter. Yeah, Take not the start he was looking for. Had, uh, yesterday's double ace and also <laughs> old nights of rave. We got oh, minus seven, went. Kevin Jones. Oh, we got a stand-up comedian on the <laughs> intro mic. Getting some good laughs out of KJ USA. <laughs> I like it. I like it too. Some really good vibes here at Yadra Disc Golf Course. If you haven't been, this is a place you really got to check out. Great people and amazing course. KJ is just laying it up there. He's happy with the three in this wind. Person on the chase card is the hardest person to win a coin flip against. We got Rasmus Toeminen, minus five. <laughs> there must be a backstory there. You know anything about that? <laughs> the hardest guy to win a coin flip against? <laughs> no, no. I was like, what did he mean? 
<laughs> what did he miss? No, 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 no. Never heard. Some great introductions anyway. And uh, that's a little overturned. It's going to cut roll back to the fairway and stay safe. A little nervy for a minute there, but no problem. So Luke, after going OB, he's going to just try to put this close and save his par. Oh, it went OB earlier than I thought. Yeah, and that slides up just safe. That should be good enough for Tuomas. PA3 here from Kevin, and he looks like he overshoots it a little bit, but right there inside the circle anyway. Henrik birdie. for the only birdie. This is even closer than 20 meters. Gave it a good run. Got the... A little bit low, as he said. Yeah, just hit the cage. Solid bogey putt there from Luke. So yeah, no birdies on this lead card. We did have 9% of the field birdie at just one park job from Jarno Pistokowski, who, who was on fire at the beginning of his round, by the way. He did taper off after, wow. but he was at some point, I think, at least like five through six or something. Some crazy hot start. You guys cleaning the pars. Look. Yeah, a few pars and just that unfortunate bogey from Luke with the OB. Next up, hole two, par three, 96 meter straight shot, low ceiling, a pretty generous size gap. Most of the difficulty comes on the green where it drops off steeply right behind the basket. And it's a, a really like sheer cliff edge basically if you roll down there it's hard to get back up nice little touchy putter shot for most of the guys on this card and this one's brought to you by disc golf stream where you can watch all the european pro tour events live as well as the european championships and finnish championships coming up very soon oh looking great henrik's it's Yeah. Bounced up and down in the wind and checked up right there on the green. You'll have a look at it. This needs to get a good slide. And it does. Yeah, the green is kind yeah, of fast here. Play. So you want to go like 15 to 10 meters before the basket and get the general, general slide to the basket and with this hole oh bad kick from Rasmus and especially with this hole you really want to be like putting in the circle and in this wind even closer yeah the closer the better when you got the, the wind picking up and that kind of a death drop off behind and usually like it's kind of like for players oh <laughs> oh, it stopped right by the stairs. Okay, great. Great reaction from there. So usually for players, like, usually they aim behind the basket to get to be sure to get the distance. But with this hole, you basically can't do that. Because <laughs> it's so big. Slope. Yeah, you want to aim maybe yeah. just short of it because that's the mistake you really can't afford to make on this one. And when you aim be behind the basket, it's like there's a chance, chance to go for the ace. Exactly. Henrik's a little further than it looked. Oh, uh, catches left side chains. Just off by a hair. Kevin from about eight, nine meters, and he splashes out left side, so... Luke deliveries. Luke able to get that. 
So a little bit slow start from the car generally. Luke with the first birdie. Rasmus is going to have a, a bogey here. After that rough kick. And Henrik to clean up his par. You see it's like only four meters, but players like really taking their time. Even I'm taking the time and guys in my cards with this wind, you just want to be like more than full of focus. Yeah, yeah hyper focused. Right, here, hole three, par three, 103 meters. The biggest uh, amount of space is this left side that the drone's flying. We have seen the big bike hyzer backhand from Kevin Jones on the right side. We've seen a few other lines. Uh, got that OB kind of lurking just behind it and on the on the sides. But it's really close behind the basket, isn't it? It's just maybe like six, seven meters from the pin there on the back side. Have you ever played the course? Yes. Been there a couple times. Love it. Wow. Yeah. One of my favorite places. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the classic holes, one of the original holes. Well played. It has changed over the years. They, oh, wow. Luke Humphreys with this really nice forehand. And he parks it on point with that. Yeah, unfortunately, there was some uh, issues with the city council and they, they lost some of the property. They were able to save the the overall course, but some of the great holes from the past are missing. But they've done a great job to redesign it. That was a good drive there as well. He's going to be on the circle's edge. And here's that big spike hyzer from KJ. And not quite as good as yesterday, but he's going to have a circle two jump putt. Or I imagine he'll jump in. So good at that. Yeah, people know him. About Jump Putt yeah, Jones. Jump on Jones. One of his nicknames. <laughs> yeah. That's a good looking forehand from Rasmus. Checks up safe on the green. So four solid drives here. Opportunity for a star frame if we can get some big putts. First up, the man himself. Yeah. Jump putting it, Jones, yeah. right in the heart. We just mentioned that. And that's why we call him yeah. Jump on Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first one we've seen of him from him this this tournament. Um, he had a couple close ones yesterday, but drilled that. Oh, and Henrik's just a little bit off left side again. It's two putts in a row where they were that's perfect height and speed, just a little bit left. And Rasmus maybe feeling a little bit nervous, unable to extend into the chains. Or maybe he just thought the wind was going to lift it a little bit more, not sure. Could be both. So, oh, casual tap, tap in, yeah. from Luke. Nicely done. Two birdies, two pars. three hundred meters tight little line through this gap here shapes up really nice for the righty forehand we have seen some turnovers but that's a really technical shot got to get it just right here we see the low skipping forehand if you can get it to kind of hit somewhere on this little hard pack spot here it should flare towards the basket yeah I don't remember who said it, but yeah. it's like if you're going backhand like going turnover shot and just 
hoping it's gonna get through the trees. But usually you go with yeah, the, it's with the sidearm. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're seeing it. This is textbook. Yeah. Right to the pole. <laughs> Two park. Yeah. Another park job and a, looking like a turkey for Luke Humphreys. After that early bogey, he's hitting his stride quick. Okay, wow. And Kevin what Jones. Gap. Following the line. He got on the inside gap, didn't he? Yeah, that was the, between those two trees. That was. <laughs> on first day, first day, I hit the same gap, actually. <laughs> okay, so it is a thing. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a line, yeah. <laughs> there's some space. There's space through there. Yeah, you're good. This one, just a little too high. It gets knocked down just outside of C2, most likely. This one, 3.03 .03 average. Wait, no, that's from round one, sorry. 2.92 average today, so players starting to figure it out a little bit. And this gets a nice skip. That's it's going to be there up on the green. Yeah, usually you want to skip, like, up on the hill because there's, like, not that much gra grass, so your disc will naturally skip more. Yeah, that's right. There's, like, that bald patch of earth where it gets, gets a lot more, more uh, skip distance there. Rasmus for birdie. Yes, get it, baby. Solid putt. And great birdie. Yeah, important one after a little bit of a slow start there to get get things moving in the right direction. Back to par for the round. So 23% birdies and 13% bogeys or worse. And a couple of bullseye hits there for the Americans. Turkey for Luke, and Kevin's just Man, one I, stroke back of him. And I noticed there's four players who are sponsored by Prodigy. That's crazy. Like, yeah. I, I think that I, might happen some... Did it ever happen before? This is, this is the first time I remember seeing it, that, that all the players on the card are sponsored by the same one. There's so many um, different sponsors now, Well, yeah. uh, so many different disc manufacturers. It's pretty rare. Like uh, they've, Prodigy's done really well this year. Uh, they signed a lot of new good players, and they're performing really well. They provide a lot of support for their team, and uh, they must be really proud to see all, all those players on the lead card here at the final stop on the European Pro Tour. I hope five you might know this. Before. This one looks familiar. Yeah, like <laughs> from maybe from the I I, video, I don't know, like where Kevin Jones maybe. doing the grenades. So nothing special, special to <laughs> mention. <laughs> nothing to mention here. <laughs> nothing happened here, folks. Move along. <laughs> nothing to see. No, that was amazing. I mean, I, we could talk about that the whole video, but we won't. But I mean, if you haven't seen it, then I don't know what. Where you're living under a rock, get out from there and Man, getting A's. Go, go look at that video. Getting A's on <laughs> coverage. Wow. Yeah, and with the grenade, I mean that's so yeah. unlikely. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Today he elected to go with the forehand. Uh, maybe it was too windy for the grenade, I guess. So it he was just kind of blasted it a forehand. Windy. Yeah. He followed Luke Humphrey's line and just blasted a forehand into the hillside, and they're going to be putting for birdies. We did see Rasmus unfortunately hit that tree and he's gonna have to go to the drop zone. Henrik checks up nice. He'll have a birdie look. Here we see the drop zone. It's about 25 meters or 30 maybe. Scary with the OB behind though. It's a touchy little upshot. It's kind of like... You can't even run when from you, you want to put it in the touchy. The touchy yeah. You, with the wind, like usually... Oh, again, left side. Usually people like jump putting from 30 meters, but with the wind, like it's it's getting so hard. Yeah, a super touchy loop with another birdie. That's four in a row right there. Henrik missed already like three putts left side. He's And they've been barely off. They're just off it, by like, yeah. you know, it's, a couple centimeters on the left side. It's kind of locked for like, for keeping the face with the with the guys like you see like Luke Humphreys get mad after first hole and went birdie 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 yeah <laughs> Kevin Jones turkey 
So like yeah, they, yeah. the course is definitely you want to go for the birdies. For sure. And and Henrik he's he's throwing well and the, the putts don't look bad. They're just off by that little bit, you know. Yeah, finally, hole six so. guys. 148 meters, guys. I know part three. I know how to do this. You just have to go Tell like us. <laughs> you have to go with some straight stable disc. Uh, this gap is about 130 meters from the T. You see the heel little slope here, so you really want to go like go with the hyzer, reverse keep, and try to aim right in this basket man that was crazy so guys if you haven't heard i aced this hole a hundred and forty eight meter ace and that's your first one that's right? my first one. Oh yeah well like what we barely see man, we barely see the basket because it's like shady like in shadows and like a yeah. one yeah kind of far away yeah, and, really far. <laughs> but you know, like I hit the I hit the slope, the hill that I hit. I take the counter skip or reverse skip, how you want to call it, and yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it went like really, really fast and straight in the basket. We didn't see the disc like getting out of it, and spot we start to yelling and like celebrating, you know. And the spotter, he ran to the basket, watching the is disc there. He came back with the green flag on, and we went like, yeah. Oh gosh, man! I, I can only imagine how, how incredible that must have felt and and looked and sounded. <laughs> what a what a moment! What a memory! Yarva is an absolutely magical place. Oh yeah. Seems like the special stuff just happens here. Yeah. And man, congratulations Thank on you. an incredible ace. I, that was such great news. I, I couldn't believe that this <laughs> hole of all the holes to get your first ace, 148 oh, meters. Well, yeah, it's oh, yeah. looking great. But yeah, well, yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, like it's hard to get better ace or longer ace than this one. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. How do you follow that up, man? Well, exactly. <laughs> Uh, every every ace is wonderful, but this one, man, I mean, I can't believe you did that. Yeah, me so, either, man. That was so crazy. That was <laughs> what a great story, man. Thank you. Luke misses his uh, birdie, and it rolls a little bit away. And here he is coming back for that par. He's got a little bit of an awkward stance. He's standing on top of this um, these stairs, and... Hits the nubs and the chains, but it does not collect. So that's going to be a bogey for Luke, unfortunately. Great birdie from nice Rasmus. birdie from Rasmus. Yeah. But let's let's get some stats from this hole because this is not a hole that gets aced. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever been aced before. To, I mean, that's especially not in a competition. But 3.18 average, only 14% uh, of the field able to get the birdie, or better in your case, and two park jobs and they count an ace as a park job so oh okay you <laughs> you, you got the you get the ace park job but man i've been looking forward to that story ever since i saw that i was <laughs> waiting for this moment so cool to hear it yeah skip ace oh well, you know, like again. It, it, it took me like two holes to get my, you know, myself together and like be back in, yeah. the, in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. Hole seven, part three, 107 meters, quite a bit uphill and a really tight gap here at the very end of it. Small entrance with a low ceiling into the green. Playing as the second easiest hole on the course today. Can you believe that? Well, it means the other holes were m much harder because <laughs> this more, one is not more easy. Wind. I think, yeah. the, no, this is a super hard hole, but I, I think it's the wind maybe that some of those holes that should be easier were playing a little bit tougher and that this one's maybe a little more protected. I, that's my only guess. I mean, 2.9 average. So, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was quite surprised to see that. 26% birdies. Oh. Only 13% so bogeys are worse. So. Guys correct how to play this. Yeah, I think they figured out the line, I guess. And how to avoid the rollaways and stuff up there on the green, maybe. Yeah, how to be lucky. <laughs> can, you yeah. can you figure it out? <laughs> <laughs> can you figure out how to be real lucky? Um, great. Uh, there's there's there. a, lot of luck, a lot of luck out there today. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Nothing. Yeah, that Heiser gets him up there for... I think you'll have a putt at it. Henrik here. Going with that Heiser as well. That seems to be the play, I guess, if you got it. Just try to crash in, in from the right side and hope you get in. But that's the problem. If you get deep in there, it can be hard. We've gone more of a turnover, kind of flat line. Straight at it. And that worked out really well. He's putting. Putting from circle. I, I think he's the closest of them all. Yeah. Yeah. Tight spot there from Rasmus. But Rasmus figured it out stays close. how to be lucky in a troll. Yeah. Oh, finally. Oh, look at that. Finally. Henry. On hole seven. Let's birdie train begin. Yeah. I, that one was a little bit left as well, but it was low and it caught. And it, he was, that was a good putt. He really stabbed it in there. Perfect putt from Kevin. He's four down. Starting to feel it. Bogey free. Yeah, catching the Luke. That's right. Yeah, now they even. Look, so far no yeah. no pars. No pars at all. Seven holes, five birdies, two bogeys. Bit of a wild round for him, but mostly green there. Hole eight, par three, 96 meters. You gotta kinda go up over these trees. There's not really too many other options. And beautiful viewpoint. You can kinda see all around. There's a little pond there and uh, see the Stockholm suburbs and all this lush green growth around. Uh, kind of a strong uh, sloping hillside left to right. You gotta be careful coming in. The, the angle is so steep on the hill that it it often kind of catches your disc on edge and rolls them down. So you want to try to match something, something coming in with the angle so that it uh, mitigates that roll away. Kevin's going with the overstable FX2 and he puts it on this like strong Anheuser. Interesting. But not like th throw him like, yeah, slower speed and. Oh, catching lands the rolls. Really not close to the basket. Mm hmm. I think this is circle Tough edge. Roll. Yeah, he's in a pretty tight spot. This is a distortion. Very popular approach disc from Prodigy. Looks like a pretty good move. Yeah, missing the Skipping bush. And wow. <laughs> great. That's close. Yeah, great ground play. Got it to check up right there in the bullseye. Luke looks like he's overturned this a little bit, kind of tugged it, maybe late release. Yeah, I think that. And yeah, that sailing down. I think that was more like late, late release. Yeah. But he he was lucky. He he went through the branches. There's the branches. What which ones you don't want to hit? On the oh, right. those early on the right. Yeah, yeah. That's. This is quite short but it skips and slides and he's up there for a great ground circle's edge look yeah yeah pretty lucky there here we see what luke's dealing with down there there's some thorny bushes quite thick rough not a comfortable place but he's able to get up he should be able to get an easy par now Let's see here oh what a great run 
yeah, glances yeah. off the chains, but. Oh, Rasmus, oh, quite high on that putt. That's airballed. He's struggling a little bit. Oh. Still at par for the round, not too bad. Yeah, if he's, he's a couple. For sure, unhappy with that, with that one, but. Easy birdie from Henrik, and he's starting to roll now. Yeah. Got that birdie train going. Been throwing, throwing well all round. Just kind of finally got his putt dialed in. It was off by just a hair, and now he's cruising along. Two down. And he's only one stroke back of the boys. Oh yeah. Hole nine. A pretty unique shaped. Par 4, 178 meters. You want your tee shot to get lined up with this gap here that we're going to see pretty soon. It moves a little bit right to left. It is really tight in here. If you can get your drive somewhere around here, maybe you could start to shape a line up to the basket. These pine trees are, are really tight together. and Yeah, not, uh, not, not an easy one to get up to the basket. And then when you do, you got to be careful not to overshoot it because it drops straight off and goes down. There is a little wall to catch some of the rollaways, but pretty deadly green here. Yeah, I think the deadly green is kind of thing in Yarva. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, because like, you can yeah. imagine like hole two has the same like eight hold, hole eight, this one, and there's a back nine couple of holes. Also, where is the like green is yeah. like usually like even kind of like simple shots, but green is really hard. Yeah, even 10 is kind of on that like spine of a, a bit of a ridge. So you can go back and forth there. You really have to be putting well and be in control of your upshots here for sure. Otherwise it gets, yeah, there's so much elevation. It can, the roll away, so it'll eat you alive. That one's pretty wide. I don't think you want to be over there on that right side if you can avoid it kind of hard to get to the green you have to make a really kind of heroic risky shot to get get the birdie from over there this a little better but still a little a little bit pinched on that right side yeah, there's not that much ground play or skips on the first shot because grass is kind of thick here so it like it takes the stop the disc kind of as soon as yeah, it's hitting a, the ground. Yeah. It's tough to get yourself in position off the tee on this one. That one's pretty high and it gets stuck in the tree or knocked down from the tree, I guess. Nice down on the knee, having to scramble. He, he hit the early trees or early bushes on the way. Oh, nice commitment on this Anheuser turnover shot. Oh. That was really good. Especially those wow. who are, those are what I got. <laughs> but wow. that sticks, that was, that, yeah, that sticks kind of, kind of great. That was a high level shot there. I mean, to get it to stick on the green from that angle, he was kind of out of position, really. He had to bend that thing like crazy with the Anheuser and then get it to check up on the green. Well played. Oh. That's a good roll, though. If you're hitting early, Rasmus he's going to got, be able to just got the loop, but up. the putt is, I don't know, he might just lay up. Whoa, grenade from Kevin Jones. Chilling. Up over Chilling. everything. <laughs> and it stayed on the green? Yeah. Wow. wow. We're seeing some highlights here. And a great putt there for the turkey from Henrik. He's getting in the back. What an awesome way to finish up. Oh, sure. Yeah. Fin finish off the front nine in style with the turkey. Bogey free, three down. Are you serious? Oh, no. Just low from oh. Kevin. He's very disappointed in himself there. Surprised. Just left it a little bit low. Gonna have to settle for the par. 
That means uh, Luke Humphreys will have an opportunity to be the solo leader here if he can drain his birdie putt, which he should be able to. He's, I think he's almost parked. Yeah, I think we missed one. Rasmussen for the one, Rasmus for bogey there. One layup, but that's that's for bogey. There you have it to move to 12 down. This whole average right at par. 24% birdies, 19% bogeys. And that's going to do it for the front nine. It just flies right by, doesn't it? Yeah, this is kind of this is this is faster than back nine. For sure. Only par sure. threes. The back nine has some some long par fours, yeah. Just that one par four, hole nine. Well, but look at this, yeah, we got a, a leader in Luke Humphreys. Henrik Hogman representing Sweden well. And uh 994 rated player hanging with the big boys here. He's gotta be proud. I really like what I'm seeing from him. Kevin Jones right there, tied with him in second. Rasmus having a little bit ups and downs, but um, hopefully he can turn things around on the back nine and start start the birdie train rolling. Big thanks to MDG Media, as always, for making this high-quality production. Thanks to you, Tommy, for joining me in the studio, and congrats on that incredible ace. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. See you all on the back nine. All right, all right. See you all there.